Colorado primary results are in, and we now know who Coloradans will be voting for in November. Here's a look at some of the big statewide races. In the race for U.S. Senate, Republican Joe O'Day will take on Democratic incumbent Michael Bennett for the U.S. Senate seat, one of the two here in Colorado. O'Day said he will be an independent voice in the Senate who will stand up to members of his own party. Republican Heidi Ganahl will take on Democratic incumbent Governor Jared Polis in November. Ganahl beat Greg, Greg Lopez. And Pam Anderson wins the Republican nomination for Secretary of State. The former Jefferson County clerk and past head of the State Clerks Association beat out Mike McDonnell and Mesa County clerk Tina Peters. She'll take on Democratic incumbent Jenna Griswold come November. So what do the primary results mean as we turn toward November? Digital journalist and politics guru Blair Miller digs into the key takeaways. Yeah, I think that, you know, it's it's that, you know, unaffiliated voters, you know, I think, and Republican voters who voted in the Republican primary voted for a more so-called moderate candidate, um, which probably favors, you know, I think, the establishment Republicans, you know, we saw all the Democrats trying to spend money for some of these more extreme candidates and voters pretty soundly rejected that. So I think for the Republican establishment, they're happy about it because it signals probably more competitive races when you're facing these, you know, four year incumbents here in November, like Governor Polis and Jenna Griswold. Um, and so I think that that's probably my key takeaway for November. It was a very good night for congressional incumbents. We had every single incumbent who faced a primary challenger, which was four of them, win their races handily, including Lauren Boebert. You know, I'd say that, you know, some of the voters rejected some of those ideas, but Lauren Boebert won by 30 points in her race. So uh, I think Doug Lamborn was the closest and he won by at least 15 percentage points. I think it was about what we expected, but it was a good pulse to see where the GOP voters were at, I think. Yeah, so I mean, I think a lot of, you know, what's happening nationally with the Supreme Court decision, Roe v. Wade, um, with some of the other Supreme Court decisions and with what ha what's happening in Congress should probably have a pretty big bearing on where voters in Colorado are thinking in terms of if they want to continue with the Democrats, you know, put Republicans back in office. But I also think a big thing is going to be um, money in all of these races. Obviously, we have Lauren Boebert, who's raised a ton of money that did her very well in the primary here. Uh, and then you have, you know, people like Jared Polis, who can pretty much self-fund his campaign to whatever extent he needs to. Um, and some of the Republican candidates didn't raise a whole lot in this primary round in the first six months. I think it's going to be interesting to see what they can do contribution-wise from PACs and from people to see how they can support their candidacies moving into November when you have these really strong Democratic incumbents statewide. And you can see results from other races in Colorado's primary right up right now on the DenverChannel.com. We'll also have more on the primary a little bit later on today on Denver 7 News at 5.